And what's up everybody? So today we are looking at getting these really awesome golden tones with these really cool shadows and cool greens that are really almost on the blue side and then they're really complemented with these really orange tones. And it's overall a pretty moody image and this is going to be our reference image and we're going to see what we can do with this image here and let's get into it. So I'm going to drop the exposure just to make it a bit more moody and dark. And then up the highlights. And up the shadows. And really bringing down the whites. We're quite blown up at blown out up there. And I'm bringing down those blacks. Looking pretty contrasty at the moment. Gonna bring down the clarity a tad. And I'm really going to bring up vibrance because those oranges are really hard to get and you've got to bring up the vibrance a lot because HSL are, I really struggle to push them hard enough to get those colors so I'm bringing vibrance up as it affects the midtones the orange colors are generally the midtones so I'm gonna bring that right up I'm gonna desaturate and tone curve so there's a bit of a fade quite a bit of a fade going to keep our whites at the top I'm going to drop shadows a tad and increase the blacks I'm going to leave it there for now and I generally have to come back to curves after I've finished my edit so on to colors and, and I'm going to shift this way bring them much further to the oranges now with the greens you want to go the other direction and this is really cool because and because then it creates color contrast between our two main colors the gold and the greens you might see what I mean later and then we've got no blues not gonna worry about them coming down to saturation I'm gonna really bring up the oranges you see we're already getting a real nice oranges I'm gonna bring down the yellows really bring down the greens aquas blues right so luminance reads a tad making deeper colors by bringing bringing them down I'm gonna bring oranges right down and bring yellows up to give those oranges more punch or shine and greens right up gives them that real shine and now on to split toning so this is also really important and we're going to put a lot of gold or orange into the highlights really warming up the image going to put quite a bit in there and as you can see we're looking a little too warm they're not quite matching up we look a little too red all over the sh all over the image so what you do is come down here and you add in the opposite color into the shadows so you add blue or a teal into the shadows and that really cools off the shadows complementing these warm oranges and as you can see we have really cool shadows in this image and the greens the greens are looking almost on the blue side really cool and then also they have been pushed towards the blue colors so hopefully you guys can see that and then we've got these awesome rich oranges and I'm just going to come down here remove the sharpening and enable profile corrections so hopefully you guys think they look pretty similar 
before after I think they look really really good so I'm gonna save this as a lot I'm gonna call it call it gold forest because I think I think this uh, this grade looks really good when these trees or greens so I'm gonna save it as that and now I'm gonna try it on some other images so looking at this image I'm gonna look at the oranges and the yellows so let's find our luck gold forest and let's bring down the exposure to about there and as you can see for after it's really bringing out those yellows into more of an orange and if you match the exposure of the oranges up there they're looking pretty similar could add a vignette on this image and darken it up a bit more and it'll look really really good but as you can see nailed our oranges pretty good in that image so let's try it in this image so let's ply our lap and as you can see we're very blown out it's a very bright image but if I darken it we still we get a little bit of an orange look but it still isn't quite that golden image we want so what we can do is either increase the amount of orange in the highlights so we can do it like this looks okay but we will for this one I'll show you because we cooled off our shadows so much we can add a lot of warmth into the image and it won't look too weird so if I bring this say 7,000 it might be too much for some people but we still have quite cool highlights because we pushed our greens to a blue color and put blue in the shadow so they still look really cool and it's not warming up the entire image so you've got these nice warm highlights and you still have pretty cool shadows so before after pretty nice golden moody look and let's try another image so got this one here supply a lot gold forest let's bring up the exposure and we're looking pretty gold that would be plenty for some people but say if you wanted more we're gonna do this option this time I'm gonna bring it up to there now we've got a very gold image and again got this cool shadow still so it doesn't look too weird and yeah so I'm going to save this one as a lot as well because I don't want to have to remember to do that if I was just flicking through my presets as having good presets that work really quick and fast is really key so I'm going to call this right create so I'm gonna remember that and one other image I want to go over is this one so let's apply there's our first one there's our second one say if we applied our first one the another way to add more warmth get a really warm cool looking image is to apply big as you want and when you add warmth it looks really good still and then I'm gonna say increase the highlights and say the whites and I think you get a really awesome looking gold foresty but still really cool in the shadows and you could feather that out if you wanted 
but I think it looks good anyways. So before, after, looking super good. Right. Get our reference image up. Here was our first one for after. Next one for after. Then we moved on to this one and added more warmth with the into the highlights by using on the warmth bar. Got a good golden look. Then we did this one. And then we did our very last one by using a radial filter with warmth in it. And you got a super awesome foresty golden look. So that's it for this video guys. And I have recently just uh, an announced that my LUTs are now for sale if you want to check those out. And yeah, make sure you go follow him on Instagram. Comment down below what you guys want to see. And leave a like. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.